Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, and here we are in Premiere Elements. Certainly, if you've ever made a movie in Premiere Elements, you've made titles, you may well have used the title templates that are located right here on the toolbar, and they have both classic titles, they include a lot of cool graphics and some interesting text styles, they also have motion titles that are a little more high level, but you are not restricted, of course, to using the templates. You can create your own. And sometimes I do, quite often I do, because I like to create my own animations for my titles. So I've got a little movie here on the timeline, and I want to add some titles to it, but I'm going to make my titles actually kind of interesting. So in other words, I want to add a personal animation to each title, but I'm going to have the title come in in two parts with two separate animations. To do this, I'm not going to use one of the templates. I'm just going to go over here to the text menu. Once I position my playhead where I want the title to appear, and from the text menu, select new text, default text. And since I'm in expert view, that default text appears as a clip right on video track two or the first available track it finds on your timeline and then i can do some modification to it here in the titles adjustment area so i can select the text and i can change this to kayaking for instance i'll select the entire block of text and go apply a text style to it for instance this will do nicely and i can change the font i can change the color i can even change the size of it and this is going to be my head title so i'm going to position this text block here within my title down in this lower left hand corner. Then I'm going to create a separate title. So in other words, I'm going to click on the timeline that gets me out of the title adjustments area, position my playhead just a little bit farther to the right of its current position, go up to the text drop down menu, select new text, and it's going to create yet another title, but this time up on video track three. We'll call this one the Mayaka. That's the name of a river in Southwest Florida. I'm going to apply a similar style to it, maybe make it not quite as big, and I can do that by manually changing the number here or selecting the selection tool, selecting the text block, and then just with the shift key down, pulling on the corner to get the size that I want. So these are actually not just two separate text blocks on the same title, they're two separate titles. So I can't access the word kayaking from my current uh, title adjustments area because I'm in the title where the words Mayaka appear. And so I could apply two different animations to these. Now there, of course, are text animations, which are pretty cool and they're fun to explore. Uh, these will create individual animations for blocks of text or sometimes one letter at a time. They're a lot of fun, but I'm just gonna create a motion. So I want the word kayaking to fly in from the right. And then I want the Mayaka to fly in from the left. So I'm going to go down here to the word kayaking and with this clip selected, I'm going to close the adjustments panel and select applied effects, open up motion applied effects, and then open up the keyframing controller for it by clicking on the stopwatch. There we go. And now I can create an animation. So since this is the final position for the word kayaking, I'm going to just have it fly in. I'll position my playhead where that final position is, and then toggle on animation by clicking on the stopwatch here for motion. That's the final keyframe stopping point. Move the playhead back, and then take the word kayaking. I'm just gonna have it fly off to the right or off to the right. And I can do that by manually dragging it, by scrubbing through the numbers here, or simply changing this to a high number like 2000, maybe even a higher number like 3000 counting the pixels across the screen. So this is a 1920 by 1080 screen. So let's see if 3000 does it. 3000 takes it off. So now I have a very short sequence where the word kayaking flies in. Now notice that the words, the Mayaka are already there. That's because they're on a separate title card. So now I'm going to select that clip or that title on the timeline. I'm gonna apply a separate animation to it. So let's open up the keyframe controller now with that clip selected. And again, this is my final position for the word Mayaka. So we'll toggle on our animation for that. Move the playhead back to the beginning. And this time I'd like it off to the left. So I'm going to try zero, zero work. Uh, a little bit further than zero, we'll go to negative 100. Very nice. So now I've got two separate animations. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to stretch out the words, the word Mayaka 
so that it's the same length as the other title. We'll close the keyframe controller and then let's see how our animation looks. So I've got two separate titles with two separate animations, but they seem to unite once they join on screen. That's a very interesting way to create a title. We could add some additional things to it, of course. We could add fade outs at the end so that once the title appears, you can apply a fade out just as simply as you could apply a fade out, a video fade out to any clip. It's fun to create your own titles and there's a lot you can do. I encourage you to experiment. I encourage you to use keyframing. Uh, don't feel like you're at all limited by the templates that are provided. And if you want to know more of these kind of tricks and tips, be sure to check out the tips and tricks that are available at moviepix.com if you want to know everything about the program. The moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements is available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.